Hi everyone, and welcome to my next video tutorial, which is going to be focused on implementing a math capture into your Django forms. Now, of course, um, for those of you that have seen that sometimes when you submit a form online, you're going to have like this capture of sorts where you need to pick all the robot signs, all the green lights. So this one is a little bit different. It's going to be based on math. So what you're going to have to do is answer a math question if you want to submit a form. And you're probably wondering how is this helpful? So again, this is very helpful to prevent like form abuse from automated robots and bots and scraping and all of that. So it's very helpful in terms of security when protecting your forms, especially when a user submits data. So I'll show you how you can get this done. Now, the first thing that you're going to need is a simple Django application that has the ability to register and log in users. Now, of course, as of you that are more intermediate developers in Django, you'll of course know how to do this. Now, for those of you, however, that aren't as experienced, okay, this um, whole project here that I have here already set is based on a video I've covered before on user registration authentication. So I will attach that particular video in the description below under a links mentioned where you can go ahead and see this actual project and the source code I believe will be um, attached in the description of that particular video as well for greater clarity. So of course what you're going to need to do, like I mentioned, just to give you the upshot here, make sure you have a simple Django application that has registration and login functionality, especially with um, model forms. So that's the first thing you're going to have to do before continuing ahead with this video tutorial. So just something I wanted to mention. So you would have your own forms.py and you will have all of the necessary bits in place for um, user authentication and creation. So make sure you've got that first of all. And then what we can do is continue and implement um, the simple mass capture. Right. So what we need to do now is install the Django simple mass capture package. So we can go ahead and copy this. And what you want to do is within your Django project, you just want to install that accordingly. So um, a Django simple mass capture. There we go. Next, you want to ensure that you add simple mass capture to installed apps in your settings.py file. So I'm going to copy this. You want to head on over to your project and I'm going to go to my settings.py file. And here under installed apps, what you want to do is you want to add in the following as follows. Right, so simple mass capture in your list of installed apps. Great, now the next thing we need to do, very simple, is you wanna add the capture field to your form. So as we can see in our application here, if I just um, run my server, is when we go to register, for example, we want to ensure that that capture is here and that a user won't be able to register for an account without completing the capture that's set here. So what we can do is we can head on over to our forms.py file Okay, so I'm gonna head onto my forms.py file of my app here that I have by default. And what you wanna do is ensure that you have um, um, from Django import forms. So that's the first thing you need to make sure. And then you want to import the mass capture field from the simple mass capture app that we installed from the fields. So you can go ahead and copy the following here. I'll just zoom in here for clarity. So you wanna copy this and make sure you have the above here from Django import forms. I already have mine here and you want to input this mass capture field. And the next part is really easy here. You need to look for the form that you want to apply it to. So I have a register form here in my forms.py file and I'm just going to add the capture to it. So what I'm going to do here is scroll down and here where I have create user, this is for registering a user. I have my metadata in terms of the model um, that I'm basing this off. It's a user, the default user model form, the fields that I use. And as you can see, this all pertains to what I have here, username, email, password, password uh, two. So what you wanna do essentially is you wanna go ahead and copy this capture here. And it needs to be in line with the meta, um, the class meta right here, like so. And then what you can do is you can head on back to register here. And what I'd recommend you do is just to rerun your server first. Okay. And I'm just going to refresh and there we go. We can now see the capture. So let me give you an example. So if I say, um, let's say um, Neil, Neil at mail.com. and I were to go ahead and complete the capture. Now, if you put it in incorrectly, so I'll show you incorrectly first, let's say whatever, that 
and register. It's going to say, please check your mass again and try again. So you're going to have to go ahead and do this whole process again here. So I'm just going to put, um, for example, minus setmail.com. Okay, and of course, and you can put in the capture, so six times on, uh, six, and then register. And if it's correct, it's going to continue with the logic that you've applied to registration after you've added it. So it's very simple. As you can see, it's very easy to add into place. So that's how you can go ahead and add in the mass capture to your application. Now, of course, it looks a bit plain, but based on the documentation, okay, you can go ahead and read a little bit more. I will be sure to attach the link here to the package where, of course, you can read more on the home page and read more on this particular um, package to just make it look a bit nicer. So you can see you can pass in optional functionality as well, such as the start integer and integer um, error messages, which you can go ahead and change accordingly, um, and various other parameters that you can integrate into this particular um, application as you so desire with this app. But it's very helpful and it helps to prevent any spam or abuse to your application. So it's definitely something I'd recommend adding in. All right. So that's it, guys, for this video tutorial, and I hope to help you. And as always, thank you for the support, and I'll see you next time. See you.